Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Shrouded Insanity. In the last episode, we explored the majority of this mansion and the grounds around it. We've up-leveled ourselves quite a bit, now rank 9. I have no idea what the max level is in the game. I think I've reached level 16 or 18 or so the last time I played through the game. This episode, we're going to begin trying to kill some bosses, and I think we should probably try to do it right now. So, let's begin. I think we'll just go back and sink our clock to heal those hit points we just lost. So be it. May you rest in peace.
she is not going to be easy. None of the bosses are really easy. I think I remember her being the toughest one to kill. I think this was the first time we died. When you die, your corpse remains where you fell. You can go back to your corpse to recover all of the batai that you had. You just have to pass over it as well. You don't have to interact with it in any way. For the boss we fought, she gets into her more powerful form when her life goes below 50%. We've seen some of her special attacks. The death that appears over me, if it hits you with its attack, if you fail to dodge when it makes its strike, you are reduced to one hit point. make three more attempts at her before we go after a different knight instead. We might need more hit points for her.
We got a note right there at the very end that we listened to a flame and our strength has increased. As you can see, our weapon damage increased by 20 points. This is the reward, for, I think, for killing this particular knight. She dropped this relic, the Zafri Flame of Agathroth. The ethereal flame found its way to the first knight. She called to it during her time in the top political circles of the Empire, building hatred for the nobles. You don't have to kill the knights if you don't want to. To not kill a knight, just leave the screen after you beat them in battle. You will still, to my knowledge, collect the flame from them anyway. With the knight defeated, the place has been repopulated. With the knight defeated, everyone has something new to say to us. Let's walk around and talk to all the NPCs again. I heard you managed to subdue one of the knights. Well done, my Vimar. And it looks like they have come to possess flames from outside this world. This explains a lot. Whoever showed them how to beckon the fog must have also showed the knights how to use the flames. Unfortunately, you cannot harness the flame. It's not compatible with your body. Fret not, you are on the right track. Find the other knights, and they will lead you to the Beckoner yet. Do what you were contracted to do, and slay the fog. Get to it. This fog is much like what I saw in the east, and has a different taste to it. It was in the North American colonies after a raid on some rebels. Let me tell you something, I heard the knights were there too brought across the ocean just to kill a small force of rebels. I saw them burn some Washington flags, but never seen any of them myself. Business was great, though. No shortage of guns to feed. I had no complaints. We'll take one single bullet upgrade from him for three bullets. We'll come back to him and spend more bataille on him later. Waltham gives me shivers, but I suppose it's still the safest here. You better watch yourself out there. I know the Weimar seem to never die, but the folks here have lost it. If only I had a squadron of knights here, we'd clean this place up fast, purifying the filth. I'll be honest with you, Walham's look makes me shiver, but it's still the safest in this forsaken 
Fog. I bet you are not too fond of this contract. I heard the Weimar are not exactly volunteers. There are some unsettling stories about how Weimar are just corpses reanimated. Nothing but bollocks, I'm sure. Wicked child of Waltham, hurry up and rid us of this fog. No faithful deserves to linger here. You have the oddest odor about you, I hope you know. You reek of the grave, my child, almost as if ripped from one recently. That would be unfortunate. Angelus does not look favorably upon the likes of that. What kind of toothpick is that? Ah, it's from the Eastern Empire. Well, that's better. I met some who could use these toothpicks properly. Hope you were one of them. I can see you're finally getting closer to wisdom. Well, as close as any with a human brain can get to wisdom. Keep plunging into the depths of madness, and you just might learn something. Something utterly sad and disempowering about our reality. My friend showed me sights of a city, a grand city, one that will arrive soon. Take care, Weimar.
Most of these paintings are depicting the late queen, oddly nostalgic. Books in the tub talk about a race of explorers swimming across time and space by projecting their minds. These papers talk about experimentations calling upon cosmic de deities. Vimer, I was expecting you. My name is Noah Alwise, the personal doctor of the king, his most trusted ally. I am responsible for the ritual performed here. My failure led to hundreds being sacrificed to fulfill the king's ambition. I found a book in the library, one that revealed the name of the entity capable of breaking time and space, the Mother of the Fog. The Mother Yog. I... These papers talk about something called the Citadel. Apparently, it's some sort of city traveling the endless oceans of space. This calculation looks inefficient. Just repeats fog over and over again. This diagram explains one way to beckon the fog. It involves the name Narlathothep.
We did not yet go up to the third floor, I think, of this mansion, or second floor, pa up past the attic. Another boss is up there. Okay, one. Let's try the violinist here. I've never done this before. This is one of the bosses of the game, everyone. This is the boss we'll end up fighting at the very top of the mansion. The third boss, I believe. The third boss might be a misdemeanor. Their numbers probably are, in truth. Because you can kill them in any order that you wish. It's just this is the third night. Ready to kill him. We'll have to pass on that. I lost all my Vitae as well. Let's move on. Let's try to find and destroy the next knight. Hmm. I didn't think we 
get these so early? <laughs> this creature is unable to be harmed, to my knowledge. When you get close enough to it, it will send out flames around itself to damage you. Diggin', diggin', day and night. You keep me busy, like, you know? You leave a flood of bodies about. Never gonna be done like so. It's what the fog does. Keep me busy, like. <laughs> So be it. May you rest in peace. He will parry you if you strike him while his blade is up as such. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like our maximum health was increased after killing Grey. Relic of the Twilight Flame. The Twilight Flame of Raglia. The ethereal flame found its way to the Second Knight during his time mapping out the borders of the Eastern Fog. It represents the balance of darkness and light. This poor sod was torn apart with incredible viciousness. bell was cut down and pushed off the ledge. We're hurt, and we're out of injections, so I'm heading back to Waltham to heal and save the game. Hmm. I wouldn't mind having another three ETH stones before we upgrade ourselves, and we just barely should have the Vitae for that. Often, in fact almost all the time, when I walk into a room, if there's a creature to be killed within it, I will attempt to do this. Especially if we have health injections and we're in good shape to do so. Well, I'm not going to farm for hours in this game. I will kill things which oh, present themselves to be killed. With the next knight defeated, we'll also begin encountering, um, well, more enemies.
see you're finally getting closer to wisdom. Well, we, oh, we've already read what he says. Thinking for our upgrades, we'll grab one use of stamina, or maybe even two stamina's, and then another upgrade for our health injections. some time. Let's try to fight the third knight once, and then we'll call the session. Actually, it just occurs to me we probably should talk to all the NPCs and see if they say anything different with the next nice knight defeated. Mother Yog, she showed me the way and the method to reach deep into the fabric of time. She asked for only one thing in return, human lives, many of them, something the Empire has in spades. I was terribly foolish and thought we could outwit Yog. My arrogance was limitless. I thought by completing the time alteration, our sacrifice would be undone. I was fooled by my own ignorance to time. It's all over.
lucky we did not die right there. That was quite a bit of damage and a lot of enemies to kill really quickly. Progress is admirable, Weimar. You have yet to recall anything specific. You have yet to recall anything specific memories, I suppose. Unfortunately, it is the side effect of the contract. Not many Weimar ever recover their memories, especially not those who had such a long rest. Maybe once the fog is lifted, I'll tell you who you were before you ended up in that hole in the dirt. can hear the screams. You are a busy one, aren't you? While I'm having you run about doing his dirty work? Ha <laughs> Who am I to judge? The more work for you, the more profit for me. The priest is insane, I tell you. I swear I heard him recite the names of the forbidden gods. Only a madman would do that. He must be one of those still holding a grudge for 83. Even after all this time, some of them can't let go of old habits. I heard it's a common hallucination around the fog, but it's always someone close and dear to you. I had never any woman like that, though. If you have some youth stones, I can make your healing injections. seem to carry yourself nicely. Were you a noble before? Maybe even a knight? Looking at you, I'm sure I've seen your face before. If only I could recall where and when. In any case, I'm sure you remember who you were one day. Okay, let's make a try for the third night once.
Here he is, everyone. Let's make an attempt. Just stand still for a second. Now somewhere, yep, on the rooftops with a sniper rifle. If that hits you, I believe you die immediately. Looks like we picked up some extra injection vials from defeating him. The Rosewood Flame of Gafluga. The Ethereal Flame found its way to the Third Knight, beckoning him during his assassination campaign in the American colonies. On closer inspection, these clocks pulsate with blood.
everyone. We're gonna kill the creature up here. Any remaining ones, and then ones down quickly downstairs. Talk to Walt him, the knight, and the stranger, and then we'll call the session. night left. The king expected me and hid among the ruins to the north, going so far as to erect a seal using the flames. He was definitely the one to beckon the fog. Whatever his wish was, it's now complete. The room above us is proof he paid a considerable price for his wish. Subdue the last night and open the gate to the north. I wish to be rid of this fog. Do what you were contracted to and slay it. Get to it. I think I figured who the whisper in the walls is. I can't be sure, but it sounds a lot like the late queen, Eleanor. I met with her once before, on a ceremony dedicated to the troops sent to the Eastern Fog. She had this memorable tone to her voice, and I'm fairly certain is the voice I'm hearing. The corpse returns. Business as usual. Don't take it the wrong way. The vata you provide will make me a fortune when the fog is lifted. It's only supply and demand, after all. Alright, everyone. We're going to stop here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. We might end up beating the game in the next one as well. We don't have much left. If I don't beat the game, then we'll probably throw ourselves into the violin's arena for a little bit and see what we can do there. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.